Good afternoon all. <coughs> Hope I am audible. Let me check whether the audio video is clear. So this session is for discussing June 2020 CSCR net part A questions and in this session particularly we will be discussing physical science part A questions. Uh, but this is not only for physical science students, this session is equally useful for life science, mathematical science, chemical science, earth science students also. Because all streams have similar aptitude papers only, especially those who are preparing for December exam, try to practice questions of all subjects. This time, last time, many, many of the previous years, what have happened many times is, a question asked in a different subjects part A question, gets repeated or gets same type question repeated many times in your subject. So practicing questions of all subjects are very important for part A section. Please keep that in mind. I am telling this continuously for many years. Some students only prepare with the part A question papers of their own subject. But this time also, last time life science mein aya hua question, same question repeat hua is bar physical science mein. Aisa multiple questions aya tha from previous years question if you consider that is why if you want to prepare aptitude the first thing you can do is download previous year questions of all subjects of part a section and start practicing with that that itself will give you enough practice questions okay so let us start we are trying to cover maximum questions or all the questions which came in this paper Paper was comparatively easy compared to September 2022. Not only physical science, Sara Streams ka aptitude paper is bar comparatively simpler tha. For the new people, my name is Christy Vergas. I am an author, aptitude trainer and one of the top educators in an academy platform also. I am the, I'm the author of this book, CSCR Net General Aptitude and New Outlook, which is currently the best-selling book for CSCR Net Part A section. If you want a printed study material, you can check this out in Amazon and Flipkart website. Okay. So, and if you want more free resources from me and updates of all my upcoming free classes, free gate general aptitude course, free CSCR net general aptitude course, you can follow me in my telegram channel, telegram group and whatsapp group. In the description of this video, you can get the links of all my free resources and link of the gate exam course, free course, CSCR net general aptitude, free course, etc. Okay, so let us start. And one more information, one new course we are starting in an academy platform, complete course, the most elaborate course for CSCR Net Part A, we are starting from day after tomorrow onwards, 19th June onwards, more than 100 hours of classes where we discuss topic wise full length, full length CSCR Net Part A course, this is complete theory, previous year questions, practice questions, all will be covered. And yes, yes, course, life science, mathematical science, physical science, chemical science, and earth science students ke liye common. To be part of this course, you can use this referral code CC10 to get maximum discount on your subscription also. <clears throat> okay, so let us start. Yeah, this is the first question. <clears throat> so happy to he hear B Vijay Raj. Vijay Raj is saying that the book was very helpful for the exam also. So happy to hear. So happy to know that uh, many of you have the book with the book I have written with you. Thank you for letting me know Vijay. Yeah, it's a gentle request to all who have attended last exam. If you have attended my previous classes, free class or paid class, if that was beneficial for you, do let us know that will help me to improve myself also. Yeah, question ka answer kya hai? I will give you 30 seconds to try. ये क्वेश्चन लाइफ साइंस एग्जाम में लास्ट बार लास्ट टाइम आया था ऑक्टागन का जगह हेक्सागन था दैट इज ओनली डिफरेंस एंड आई एम कांस्टेंटली सेल टेलिंग दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चंस सीएसआर इज वेरी इंटरेस्टेड इन आस्किंग समटाइम्स डायरेक्टली समटाइम्स इनडायरेक्टली यहां पे डायरेक्टली पूछा है सम ऑफ इंटीरियर एंगल ही पूछा है समटाइम्स ईच एंगल पूछेगा रेगुलर हेक्सागन है तो समटाइम्स उसका कुछ एप्लीकेशन लेवल क्वेश्चन पूछेगा बट <coughs> This concept is very important. So, any answers? Very good. Some of you already got it. Whether it is regular octagon or octagon, the answer is going to be the same itself. Sum of interior angle, the formula I have discussed, even in the revision session, one day before the exam, I told you, this formula is very important. N minus 2 into 180 degree. Either octagon if you by heart know 1080, 
you can directly answer otherwise 8 minus 2 into 180 degree if you substitute 8 why n is the number of sides or number of angles octagon octagon eight sided polygon nana i told you till octagon at least you should know the name of the polygons when you hear heptagon hexagon pentagon octagon you should know what shape it is so it's an eight sided polygon so 8 minus 2 into 180 degree hoga 8 minus 2 into 180 degree kya hoga 6 into 180 degree 6 into 180 degree when you multiply you will get 1080 those of you who want these flashcards in my telegram group media section all of these most of these flashcards are available for free you can download it and use it for revision so subco clear hai na option b 1080 bahut trivial question hai na as i told this is repeatedly asked not every time in the same subject last time life science question paper mein aaya tha is baar physical science question paper mein aaya hai okay uh, i'll come back to this question this reasoning question we'll discuss simple question hai try it and post your answer 30 seconds to try <coughs> Okay, listen very carefully. What is the largest number of father son pairs that can exist in a group of four men? If the name of the four men are A, B, C, D, there are different arrangements possible. But don't take father son like two different family father son. Keep it in the same family. That is how you can increase the number of pairs. Like A is the father, A, B is a pair, A, C is a pair, A, D is a pair. If B, C, D are the children or the sons of A. Are you all under understanding? Male children of A. That means how many pairs are possible? Three. Three se bhi syada nahi kar sakta because one person should be in the upper generation minimum. And that person's father is not present anyway. All other three people's father can be present so maximum three only possible. Iska aisa bhi ho sakta hai, A ka child B hai, B ka child C hai, C ka child D hai. Here also this is one pair, this is one pair, this is one pair. Aisa kiya to bhi, answer 3 hi hai. That is just different versions of the same answer itself. Okay, I hope all of you understood this, how option A is the answer. And probability ka hai question, simple question aya hai, basic definition of probability and fundamental principle of counting is enough to do this question. Try it all of you. One second. Just a minute, there is a technical glitch. Okay, fine now. Try this fast. Okay, so I'll explain. Three fair cubical dice are thrown. 
independently what is the probability that all the dice read the same all the dice dice show the same number itself when you throw it so yahan pe do cheeze use karna hai one is basic definition of probability that required outcome by total outcome is probability required outcome by total outcome second is fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule fundamental principle of counting multiplication rule probability that all the three dice are the same means same can be in six ways that is something that some people miss one and one and one aisa possible hai na two and two and two ye bhi okay hai up to six and six and six ye six possibilities are available one and one and one milne ka chance one out of six into one out of six into one out of six hai na why because one is just one out of six possibilities required outcome one 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 time only one is there na so one required outcome total outcome six outcomes are there na 1 2 3 4 5 6 combined so probability that all the dice read the same means same can be in six ways that is something that some people miss one by 6 into one by 6 into one by 6 and six that is a probability of getting one all the three times aisa six possibilities hai na so six times one by 6 into one by 6 into one by 6 hoga final answer don't miss multiplying that one, one six Otherwise, you will get this answer. That is wrong. Six and six cancels. One by six into one by six. One by thirty-six is the final answer. Because if you want more explanation, here one by two two hundred and sixteen is. Is ka bhi similarly one by two hundred and sixteen is na. Third one ka bhi, fourth one ka bhi, fifth one ka bhi, sixth one ka bhi same hai. So six times one by two hundred and sixteen. Isliye six and two hundred and sixteen cancel karke thirty-six. If you haven't understood, I just reiterated the thing. clear all of you so 1 by 36 is the answer and this is a very beautiful question on average i have told many times average chapter ya arithmetic mean chapter mein deviation idea use kiya to bahut time save kar sakta hai ye question mein bhi wo deviation idea bahut hi helpful tha try this all of you 30 seconds to 1 minute i'll give you Okay, so I'll explain. When a student in section A scored hundred marks in a subject, is exchanged for a student in section B who scored zero marks. The average marks of section A falls by four. Section A में कितना people है हमें पता नहीं है. Like x1, x2, up to xn people है तो one student. We are taking one student. उसका mark hundred mark था. वो student section B में uh, you are transferring. Let y1, y1, y2 up to yn, ym be the number, be the students mark in B. वासे सूरो मार्क वाला एक स्टूडेंट से एक्सचेंज किया. मतलब यहाँ पे टोटल अरिथमेटिक मीन के बारे में पूछा है फाइनली. सॉरी दिया है क्वेश्चन में. Due to which average mark, that is arithmetic mean is falling by four. Arithmetic mean is sum of observation divided by number of observation, ना? नंबर ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन में चेंज नहीं हो रहा है बिकॉज दैट इज एन एक्सचेंज वन स्टूडेंट रिमूव्ड फ्रॉम हियर एंड एडेड अनदर स्टूडेंट फ्रॉम द अदर ग्रुप सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स इज सेम इन बोथ द केसेस सो सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज चेंजिंग सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज चेंजिंग मींस इन ग्रुप पे सम ऑफ ऑब्जर्वेशन इज रिड्यूस्ड बाय 100 लेकिन वो 100 इज इक्वली डिवाइडेड अमंग एन ऑब्जर्वेशन ना द रिडक्शन इन एवरेज इज एक्चुअली equally divided among all n observation isliye falls by 4 ho raha hai average is reducing by 4 average reducing by 4 hone ke liye ye n 25 hona chahiye na 
25 observation है तो all observations are reduced by 4 ऐसा I imagine कर सकता है that's a idea called deviation approach if all observations are reduced by 4 average also will be reduced by 4 or vice versa if average is reduced by 4 you can imagine as if all numbers are reduced by 4 all numbers reduced by 4 मतलब total count 100 मिलने के लिए 25 numbers होना चाहिए so that 25 into 4 is 100 satisfied all of your understanding that is why we understood that A group में A group में 25 observation है same logic B group में apply करिए don't write any mathematical steps deviation idea clear है तो no mathematical steps is required here B section B से सुरो मार्क वाला observation remove किया 100 मार्क वाला observation add किया ना इसमें 100 add हो गया वो 100 का benefit is got to all the people there इसके वजह से सबको 5 का increase हो रहा है सारा values को 5 का increase हो रहा है ऐसा सोच सकता है 100 distributed equally everyone is getting 5 rupees each you can imagine like that that means how many values should be there 20 values should be there now B group may yeah B section may there should be 20 observations so that 20 into 5 is 100 all of you are clear so we got the number of observation is a in a in a and B just by logically looking at it now see each option a has the same strength as B no 25 not equal to 20 a has 5 more than more students than B yes correct 25 is 5 more than 20. So, option B is the correct answer. Deviation idea. Yeah. So, if you want to learn more about deviation idea or any, any such topic, check out my previous classes. More than 1000 free classes I have given in my in different platforms combined. In this channel itself, you can see a lot of previous, uh, previous year question solutions and uh, a lot of topic wise discussion. A crash course of 25 free lectures I have already conducted. Uh, which part drama can you specify consa part made out hai? section a ka average 4 far fall kar raha matlab 25 observation into 4 is 100 so 25 observation hona chahiye then only total score total sum mein 100 ka kami hua total sum mein 100 ka kami hua to 25 observation hai to hi wo 100 equally distributed among 25 observation 4 will fall in every observation we can say. Similarly, B may 5 ka increase hua. 20 observation hona chahiye, 20 into 500. So that sum of observation is increased by 100 is making sense. Sum of observation increased by 100 means every observation is increased by 100 by 20. 5, of, 5 values. That is what is happening. Uske liye 20 values hona chahiye na. That is the idea. Yeh bauti simple hai question hai. When you look at it first, you may think that this is very complicated, but this is actually simple. Try it fast. So, my title you can see now, physical science we are covering. The title itself it is mentioned. Physical science we are discussing today.
Okay, so I'll explain. Given only one full three liter bottle and two empty ones of capacity is one liter and four liters, all ungraduated, the minimum number of pourings required to ensure one liter. One liter in each bottle is. So, a full three liter bottle, usme water, hai. three liter egg bottle. Hai. ये फुल है वन लीटर वाला एक बोतल है फोर लीटर वाला भी एक बोतल है मिनिमम कितना बार पोर कर रहा करना है सो दैट एवरी थ्री बोतल हैव ईच ऑफ देम हैव ईच ऑफ देम हैव वन लीटर ईच इसके लिए फर्स्ट वन यू कैन पोर लाइक दिस ना सॉरी फर्स्ट यू कैन फर्स्ट ट्रांसफर यू कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर First, three liter to four liter. If you transfer, this will have. No, that is not necessary. Sorry, sorry, my mistake. First, this itself, three liter to one liter. You transfer. So this is completely full, one liter. That one liter you transfer to here. So this will have one liter. Now again transfer one liter to here because when you complete it or fill it, that is one liter, na. So this is having one liter now. This is having one liter now. Whatever remains will only be one liter only. So you don't have to do any more pouring. So only total three pourings were done. So option B is the answer. How many of you understood this? Please respond. I will write it down for clarity. Three liter to one liter. That is a first pouring. <coughs> Second pouring is three liter, one liter to four liter. Third is. Three liter to one liter again. After this, all the three bottles, all the three bottles are one liter each. Because three liter is a two liter, gaya to one liter hi bacha hai na. Simple tha na. Iska ek bahut complicated version three, four, five years before CSAR was. That was actually complicated. Like twenty one liter ko equally three seven liter, seven liter, seven liter banana hai. वो केस में बहुत ज्यादा स्टेप्स था कंपेयर टू दिस दिस इज सिंपल वर्जन ऑफ दैट दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल ज्योमेट्री और ट्रिग्नोमेट्री क्वेश्चन वी कैन से दैट इज अ हिंड आई कैन गिव यू इफ यू यूज ट्रिग्नोमेट्री ये क्वेश्चन इजली कर सकता है ज्योमेट्रिकली भी कर सकता है बट वॉट केम इन टू माइन माई माइंड डायरेक्टली वॉज ट्रिग्नोमेट्रिकल सोल्यूशन वा वंडरफुल मेखा That is very good. Fourteen uh, marks is a very good mark. Congratulations. Thanks for letting me know, Mekha. Were you able to follow my previous sessions, or uh, you were self preparing, like to know that also? So this one, please try all of you. Okay, so we'll discuss this. So listen, person A. One second, there is a typing error, I guess. Very good, Rama. Twelve marks. Uh, you were uh, mathematical science, na, Rama. One second, I think there is a typing error. Okay, you were plus student. Okay, so good to hear, Mekha. Yeah, many things we discussed directly in the class also came directly this time in mathematical science paper and in most of the papers. It was nothing like a uh, different type or anything. Or uh, this time it was like straightforward itself. Many of the questions, some questions only were tricky. Okay, Mekha, no problem. If your subscription is over, if you want to follow more classes in the upcoming months, there will be more free classes through YouTube through special class platform. Uh, so yeah, this sentence is not there. This is a typing error. <coughs> two semicircles from there only the question is starting. Okay, <coughs> two semicircles of same radii centered at A and C, touching each other, 
are placed between two parallel lines as shown in the figure. Angle BAC. Angle BAC chayata, let us draw a triangle to understand it properly. BAC. Ye hai hamara required unknown theta. So angle BAC theta ka value chahiye. Theta ka value chahiye to ye perpendicular line hai na. So ye 90 degree hai. Aur ye dekhiye, ye radius hai na. Ye radius hai na. So this is radius. And this one was what? This one we don't know. But you know this is 2R. How we know it is 2R? Because ye dekhiye, you can see that from here to here it is uh, center to circumference. Na? So that is radius. This is center to circumference of this circle. Same radii. Hai. So radius plus radius you can say 2 radius. Na? Are you getting that point? That is the most important aspect in this question. Most important aspect in this question. Abhi trigonometry use kar sakta hai na? Trigonometry use kar sakta hai. Ye theta hai. Ye opposite side or ye hypotenuse hai. Ye theta ke perspective mein. Opposite or hypotenuse ka ratio kya hai? Sin theta hai na? Sin theta hai. Opposite side by hypotenuse. So sin theta is equal to opposite r by hypotenuse 2 r. R r cancels 1 by 2 milega. Kaun sa sin value 1, 1 by 2 dega? 30 na? Sin 30. Sin 30 is 1 by 2. So, theta 30 hona chahiye. Theta 30 hona chahiye. So, the answer is 30 degree. All of you clear? Please respond. Uh, was it Samia? All questions were same. But earth science and physical science was in two different time slot this time, na? Or was it in the same time slot? I am not sure about it. Because earth science question paper I haven't seen, sorry. Earth science question paper I haven't seen yet. One student has sent me yesterday, but couldn't, couldn't get time to go through it. If it is same, then the session is for earth science also. I mean, earth science students who attempted this exam also. Okay, Samia, okay. And the previous questions were also there or only this question? Pichle questions bhi tha? Karan is asking aptitude class join karna hoga to kaise kare I want to join only aptitude. Karan, mera ye YouTube channel mein free course available hai. Uh, paid course mein general aptitude only course ka ek plan chal raha hai. Maybe in one or two weeks you, you will get the announcement. Uh, Karan, mera telegram group ya whatsapp group ya at least ye channel follow kariye. Mein update karunga when, when we launch that general aptitude only course we have a plan to launch a general aptitude only full course paid course uh, will update you through my social media handles if you are part of any of it i understand current that is what i am saying uh, yeah, uh, telegram channel follow kari aapko update milega abhi aptitude only courses available nahi hai, but very soon we are planning to like in one week or so you will get the update of the aptitude only course we are planning Okay, so ये question करिए, ये question भी हम class में discuss किया था trigono, sorry, um, trapezium का area कैसा find कर सकता है वो idea use किया तो you can easily do Okay, Samia, thank you for the update I will check that question paper and I will update it now if all questions are same or not Try this all of you. <coughs> Physical science students, anyone here who is attending this live? What was the timing of your exam? Anyone remember? Those who attempted last week exam, I'm asking. 8th June was your exam. Now, was it morning or afternoon? Do you remember? Yeah, Earth Science, all questions were the same itself. 
so today's discussion is not only physical science paper discussion it is earth science paper discussion also now only i got to see the question paper dicto same all 20 questions were dicto same i'm not sure whether it was yeah both were on the same day but timing was same time or different timing i was not i'm not sure those of you know do let me know Okay, timing was also same. That is why question paper was same. Physical science and earth science ka timing bhi same tha. So, yeah, paper analysis, I, I will edit the title also. Samia, thank you for letting me know. Uh, so, I will edit the title that this paper analysis is for physical science question paper and earth science question paper because both the question papers were the same for aptitude section this time. All 20 questions. Okay. So this question we will discuss, listen very carefully. If two trapeziums of the same height are shown below, can be joined to form a parallelogram of area 2 times A into B, then the height of the parallelogram will be. First of all, how that can be joined? In my classes, previous classes I have taught this. A trapezium ka area find karne ke liye, kaisa parallelogram help karega? The idea I taught in the class earlier was, ये पर ट्रपेसियम का एक कॉपी बनाओ, टेक ए कॉपी कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट आफ्टर इन्वर्टिंग इट अपसाइड डाउन यू नीड टू पेस्ट इट, देन यू विल गेट ये ट्रपेसियम ट्रपेसियम दोनों ऐड करके एक पैरलोग्राम मिलेगा, वो पैरलोग्राम एरिया बेस इंडो हाइट है ना, वो बेस इंडो हाइट पैरलोग्राम का एरिया तो वो पैरलोग्राम पैरलोग्राम का एरिया बेस इनटू हाइट है, वो बेस इनटू हाइट का आधा होगा। आई ऑल अंडरस्टैंडिंग, बट वहाँ पे हाइट क्या है? देयर इस वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल। ये ए और ये बी है तो, और ये हाइट एच है तो, ये ए है तो इन्वर्ट करके ये बी यहाँ आएगा, और ये ए का इन्वर्ट यहाँ � so, half into A plus B into H hoga, parallelogram ka area. Yeh sab mein Q bata raya will tell you. Yeh question mein same parallelogram nahi hai, though different parallelogram hai. But the idea I have shown you here na, same idea is enough to answer this question also. Because they told that they have joined to make a parallelogram na. Trapezium join karke parallelogram banane ke liye, you how to do this. Isko invert karke yaha place kariye. इसको इन्वर्ट करके यहां प्लेस करिए इन्वर्ट करके ऐसा प्लेस कर रहा है मतलब ये 2b 1 नीचे आएगा ये 2b ऊपर आएगा आर यू ऑल एबल टू इमेजिन दैट प्रॉपर्ली अभी ये एक पैरेललोग्राम हो गया ना अभी ये एक पैरेललोग्राम हो पैरेललोग्राम हो गया इफ यू डोंट इन्वर्ट यू विल नेवर गेट अ पैरेललोग्राम ये दोनों अटैच किया तो गैप होगा ना वो पैरेललोग्राम नहीं है are you getting the point, all of you? So, ye parallelogram ka dimension kya hai? Ye length 2b minus 1 plus 2a plus 1 hai na, adding these two. That is, minus 1 plus 1 add karke, 2 times a plus b milega, simplify karne ke baad. Ye base 2 times a plus b hoga. Are you all clear? Those of you are watching me live, please respond. और ये ये साइड लेंथ क्या होगा वो भी 2 टाइम्स a plus b ही होगा 2b plus 2a मतलब ये पैरेललोग्राम है कंफर्म ये साइड 2 टाइम्स a plus b है ये ये साइड 2 टाइम्स a plus b है नाउ क्वेश्चन सेज दैट ये पैरेललोग्राम का एरिया भी 2 टाइम्स a plus b है लेकिन एरिया बेस इन टू हाइट है ना पैरेललोग्राम का हां ये फार्मूलास आर बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट आई हैव टोल्ड इट मिलियन टाइम्स मे बी that these flashcard is very important. So base into height. Base into height means 2 times a plus b into something. Let x be that something. 
that is our required unknown na height of the parallelogram into something is equal to 2 times a plus b itself because question says that 2 times a plus b is the area uske liye x1 hona chahiye na 2 times a plus b into 1 only is 2 times a plus b all of you clear beautiful question ye trapezium wala question last few years mein repeatedly aa raha hai something related to trapezium so that is one is the answer option b okay this one is okay i think i missed one question in the beginning i will take that this one beautiful question another one read it little lengthy question exam hall mein maybe ye thoda time lagega computation wise it is simple only but what to find to understand it will take some time in the beginning Okay, so I'll explain. Listen very carefully. Persons A and B have 73 secrets each. On same day, on some day, exactly one of them discloses his secrets to the other. For each secret, A discloses to B in a given day. B discloses two secrets to A on the next day. For each secret, B discloses to A in the given day. A discloses four secrets to B on the next day. The one who starts, starts by disclosing exactly one secret. What is the smallest possible number of days it, will, it takes for B to disclose all his secrets? So, one who starts, who starts we don't know. Na? But B's secret should be over. So, starting with B will be a better choice. That is what you can assume. But to confirm it, you can take the other case also and check also. But I will start with B. B starting to tell the secret. Question says that disclosing one secret B is starting. B discloses one secret. So next day what will A do? A discloses four secrets to B if B discloses one secret to A. So 1 is to 4 is that ratio. B to A disclosing secrets. So this is 4. 1 into 4, 4. But A ne 4 secret disclose kiya to. A ne 8 secret disclose kiya to. He B Two secrets next day discuss karega na. Two secrets. Matlab next day B. Four into two eight secrets discuss karega. Har ek secret ke liye two secrets. For each one secret, two secrets are revealed by B. So for four secrets, B will reveal eight secrets. Four into two eight secrets. All of you clear? <coughs> clear or not? So this one, then what you can say, next day what will A do? Next day what will A do? Next day, A will do. <coughs> One second. Okay, B eight secret reveal kiya to A four secrets reveal karega. So eight secret ke liye eight into four thirty two secrets reveal karega A. Thirty two secrets reveal karega A. That is the habit of A. Agla din B kitna secrets reveal karega. Har ek secret ke liye two secrets B reveal karega. Ya disclose karega. Thirty two secrets ke liye thirty two into two sixty four secrets reveal karega na. Now check the total secrets revealed by A. Sorry, revealed by B. Hame B should disclose all the secrets. That is a requirement. Na? 
बी ने वन सीक्रेट रिवील किया एट सीक्रेट रिवील किया सिक्सटी फोर सीक्रेट रिवील किया वन प्लस एट प्लस सिक्सटी फोर वन प्लस एट प्लस सिक्सटी फोर है सेवेंटी थ्री सो उसके लिए टोटल कितना दिन चाहिए था फाइव डेज चाहिए सो ऑप्शन ए इज द आंसर ऑल ऑफ यू क्लियर हाउ ऑप्शन ए इज द आंसर So that is a very good question. Lengthy to understand the question. Yeah, some of you may have doubt what if A started. Will that be better? Better one? Nah, it will not because A five A five. So we can make option option. Me nah, it. That is enough to confirm that you don't have to check that. But if you want, if you check it also, one secret A B will B will reveal B will disclose how many secrets? Two secrets then. B two secret reveal. Kya to? A two into four eight secrets. A eight secrets means B sixteen secrets. B sixteen secrets means A sixteen into four, sixteen into four sixty four secrets. Abhi bhi B ne two plus sixteen eighteen secrets se reveal kiya. Again ek aur din chahiye six sixth day chahiye sixty four ka double one day diye. Utna secrets nahi hai B ke pas. That is another thing. But anyway minimum six days are needed. Minimum six days are needed. ये केस में दैट इज वाई स्टार्टिंग विथ ए इज नॉट वॉट वी नीड स्टार्टिंग विथ बी इज वॉट वी नीड दैट इज वाई एम सेंग समिया वी हैव टू टेक स्मॉलेस्ट पॉसिबल नंबर मतलब वी हैव द चॉइस टू चूज हु स्टार्टेड समिया क्वेश्चन में ऐसा नहीं लिखा है ना क्वेश्चन डिड इन से दैट वी हैव टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम ए ओनली यू कैन स्टार्ट विथ ए और बी विच इज बेटर टू गिव यू स्मॉलेस्ट पॉसिबल नंबर दैट वी नीड टू चूज समिया दैट इज अ लॉजिक clear so option a is the answer okay this was done okay ye yeah, question b ye yeah, question actually if you remember one identity you learned in school days that way you can do if you don't know that you can take examples to do it and this bar yeah please clarify samia whether uh, was there calculator allowed for earth science also what i understand is physical science chemical science and मैथमेटिकल साइंस लाइफ साइंस ये चारों सब्जेक्ट के लिए कैलकुलेटर अलाउड था कैलकुलेटर अलाउड है तो कैलकुलेटर यूज करके भी इसको कर सकता है कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं दैट इज वाई वेदर यू नो द आइडेंटिटी यू कैन डू इट इफ यू डोंट नो द आइडेंटिटी यू कैन यूज वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर इफ वर्चुअल कैलकुलेटर वॉज नॉट गिवन यू कैन टेक द हेल्प ऑफ स्मॉल एक्साम्पल्स टू ट्राई विथ वन सिक्सटी टू क्यू प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन क्यूब के जगह टू क्यू प्लस फाइव क्यूब है तो क्या होगा यू कैन ट्राई इट सो ओके हाँ ना ओके कैलकुलेटर वॉज देयर इन अर्थ साइंस ऑल्सो देन एक्चुअली यू कैन यूज अ कैलकुलेटर इफ यू डोंट नो एनी अदर वे एनी वे आई विल एक्सप्लेन टू डिफरेंट वेज वन नस इसका आइडेंटिटी पता है तो दिस इज ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब ए क्यूब माइनस बी क्यूब का एक आइडेंटिटी है ए माइनस बी इंटू ए स्क्वायर प्लस बी स्क्वायर प्लस ए बी दिस इज नॉट वेरी कॉमन रूल दैट यू हैव लर्न दिस इज एक्चुअली डिराइव फ्रॉम ए माइनस बी द होल क्यूब फॉर्मूला ए माइनस बी द होल क्यूब फॉर्मूला से ये डिराइव कर सकता है यहाँ पे ए माइनस बी एक फैक्टर है सिमिलरली इसका ए प्लस बी भी एक फैक्टर होगा बट दैट फॉर्मूला इज नॉट वेरी कॉमन दैट इज वाई आई विल टेल यू द सोल्यूशन विदाउट द फॉर्मूला वो सोल्यूशन है तो ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी फैक्टर है इसलिए बोथ ए एंड बी बिकॉज ये वन सिक्सटी टू प्लस थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन From that idea, we are getting a minus b, a plus b. Chahiye. If you are not okay with that, you can use calculator. That is another way. Another way is instead of this cube, this cube, take a smaller cube. Say two cube plus four cube. Two cube plus four, four cube. Is it divisible by two plus four, six? Check it out. Two cube is eight. Four cube is sixty-four. Adding it up, you will get seventy-two. Seventy-two is divisible by six, na? Take one or two example to get clarity. Similarly, you have a two cube minus four cube to get positive value. I will take four cube minus two cube. Four cube minus two cube sixty four minus eight है ना fifty six है. Whether that fifty six is divisible by four minus two? Yes. One single example से convincing convinced नहीं है तो you take you take more examples. Say five cube minus three cube भी ले लो. Five cube minus three cube one twenty five minus 27. That is 98. Is 98 divisible by 5 minus 3 2? Yes, it is divisible. So, 
the general fact we can establish from that is a cube by b cube is divisible by a plus b and a cube minus b cube is divisible by a minus b. 489 is a plus b here, 489 is a minus b here. So, both a and b is the correct answer. All of you clear? Once again, I am telling I am going faster with this solution because virtual calculator using solution also is okay here as calculator was allowed. But let me tell you one thing, those who are preparing for December exam, don't expect CSAR to give calculator all the time. CSAR is very less consistent related to uh, whether calculator will be provided. Most of the time they haven't provided calculator. This time I don't know why they have given calculator. Next time they will ca give calculator or not, that is not specified at all. Gate exam virtual calculator will be there, that is already mentioned in the notification. But CSAR doesn't give any confirmation regarding virtual calculator. That is why this time calculator was there. So, solution based on that also is okay. This one was a very good question. I don't know how many of you remember. I have discussed a salad problem. Uska extension hai ye problem. Salad problem hum permutation combination chapter mein bohot bar discuss kiya. Plus course may be discussed kiya. Special classes may be discussed kiya. YouTube live may be discussed kiya. The salad problem. How many of you remember? You can mention it in the comments. Those of you are watching live or recorded. Ye question was salad problem ka extension hai. Wo salad problem aisa tha. Five vegetables se kitna type ka salad, kitna salads bana sakta tha. Five vegetables se kitna vegetable salad bana sakta tha. Yaha pe four curries se kitna curries choose kar sakta hai. Kitna tarike choose kar sakta hai. That's a question. But there is an extra criteria. What is the extra criteria? C and D together nahi aana chahiye. C and D together nahi aana chahiye. Okay. So, first of all, yeh C and D together wala condition nahi tha to. Four curries are there na. Four curries are there. Curry 1, curry 2, curry 3, curry 4. Think that these curries are given the choice. Whether they want to be come, whether they want to come with you. So that you can eat the curry. So, you are asking curry 1, do you like to come with me so that I can eat you? So, it can say either yes, I want to come or no. That means two choices curry 1 have. Or you have two choices either to select the curry 1 or not select the curry 1. That is what I am trying to say. Similarly, curry 2 have two choices, curry 3 have two choices, curry 4 have two choices. Two choices namely, to be part of your buffet or not to be part of your buffet. So, so fundamental principle of counting use karke 2 into 2 into 2 into 2, 16 choices hai. Lekin ye 16 choices mein, sara charo curries no bolne wala choice acceptable nahi hai. If all the four curries that say that we don't want to be part of your buffet at all, we don't want to come with you. Are you all understanding? That is not allowed because question clearly say one or more than one curry chahi hai na. Zero curry is not okay. So, that one choice is reduced of 15 choices only. But 15 is the answer if the sec is the C and D together not coming condition is not there only. But that condition reduces the choices again. C and D together nahi aana chahiye. So, C and D together complement idea use kar raha hai. C and D together aane ka chances kitna hai. C and D present, baki teen possibility not present. Sorry, C and D present, baki teen of uh, present yeah not present how many choices are there 2 into sorry c and d means 2 remaining 2 only na? so they can be present or not present 2 into 2 4 choices are there 4 choices are there c and d confirm should be there ye 4 choices hume nahi chahiye so 15 sa 4 choice kam kiya to 11 how many of you understood this this is a complement idea ye complement idea if you didn't like <laughs> you count one by one that is another way. A, B, C, D alone. That is possible. Then A and B is okay. A and C is okay. A and D is okay. But C and D is not okay. Remember, B and C is okay. B and D is okay. Similarly, three curry together. A, B, C is okay. A, B, D is okay. A, C, D is not okay. Are you agreeing? So, 4, 4 plus 5, 9. 9 plus 2, 11. Esa manual counting bhi okay hai. But manual counting mein miss hone ka chances yada hai. That is why we say do systematically. Fundamental principle of counting use kariye. Another way is you can use 4C1 for this. 
बट दैट विल बी क्लमसी बिकॉज फोर सी वन यहाँ पे फोर सी टू है बट फ्रॉम दैट फोर सी टू यू रेड्यूस वन कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ सी एंड डी ये फोर सी थ्री है फ्रॉम दैट यू टू रेड्यूस टू कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ ए सी डी बी सी डी सो वो रिडक्शन सेपरेटली करना टाइम कंज्यूमिंग होगा and a b c d together that is not acceptable i have told you three different ways of doing the same question check out my permutation combination class where i have explained more in detail these kinds of question and this question i have taught a shortcut method those of you attended my previous uh, recent free class on exam hacks capsule course on exam uh, exam hacks there also i have discussed the taking example method ye taking example method se easier ho jayega try it anyway I told many times, please don't use formula you have learned in school days for doing monetary problem, especially because that takes a lot of time if you're using the formula. <clears throat> okay, listen very carefully. Price of an item is increased by twenty percentage. So let hundred be the price of an item. Cost price hundred hai. Taking example, uska twenty percent increase wa matlab twenty rupee ka increase one twenty. Now keep in mind, वो 120 अभी 120 है, the selling price, 20 rupees increase करके sell कर रहा है या printed price, marked price we can say, and is then sold at 10% discount, but selling price ये 120 से भी 10% कम है, 120 का 10%, 100 का नहीं, 120 का 10% आज कितना है? 12 है ना, 12 कम करके 108 पे sell कर रहा है, but ये story totally wrong है ना? हमें रैंडमली 100 से शुरू किया 108 पे एन कर रहा है क्वेश्चन में लिखा है 108 पे नहीं 2160 पे एन करना है बट दैट इज वेयर टेकिंग एग्जाम्पल आइडिया कम्स इन टू प्ले 108 का कितना टाइम्स है टू वन सिक्स जीरो ट्वेंटी टाइम्स है ना 108 का डबल है 216 सो टू हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटीन नहीं टू वन सिक्स जीरो है सो टू नहीं ट्वेंटी टाइम्स है मतलब हमारा आंसर का 20 टाइम्स है ओरिजिनल आंसर मतलब हमारा इनिशियल असम्शन का 20 टाइम्स होना चाहिए ओरिजिनल इनिशियल वैल्यू दिस इज अ शॉर्टकट वे ऑफ डूइंग दिस क्वेश्चन आई टोल्ड मेनी टाइम बी फ्लेक्सिबल विद द मेथड्स यू आर फ्लेक्सिबल विद द मेथड दैट विल सेव अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम देर आर एटलीस्ट फिफ्टीन मेथड्स ऑफ डूइंग जनरल एप्टीट्यूड इन माई फुल कोर्सेज वी डिस्कस ऑल दीज थिंग्स इन डिटेल द फिफ्टीन शॉर्टकट अप्रोचेस ऑफ सॉरी हियर वी हैव डन एस टेकिंग एक्साम्पल मदर 15 shortcut approaches for doing general aptitude we have discussed in detail in free classes also i have discussed many of them check it out in the previous free sessions and this question was again a repetition of a question which came in life science paper this time itself but there it was not inversely proportional it was directly proportional that was a difference but that made a big difference i agree uh, this is little more you have to think what is happening there So try this question. Thirty seconds. I'll give you. We'll come in a minute. Okay, listen very carefully. A building has windows of sizes two, three, and four feet. Two feet wala window, three feet wala window, four feet wala window bhi hai. And their respective numbers, kitna aisa windows hai that is inversely proportional to their size. मतलब two feet wala window hai to one by two se proportional hoga. Three feet wala hai to one by three se aur four feet hai to one by four se. That means we can say one by two into some k, where k is a proportionality constant. Yesterday when we discussed life science question also, I have told k is not k for kilo or k for thousand as in Facebook likes or in likes or Insta likes. So k for 
proportionality constant if you think that you will get a lot confused in certain k instead you put x 1 by 2 x plus 1 by 3 x plus 1 by 4 x iska sum ho ga na 26 1 by 2 x be the number of 2 feet windows 1 by 3 k be the number of 3 feet windows 1 by 4 k will be the number of 4 feet windows all of you are understanding ye tino at kiya 26 wana chahiye na ye tino at kiya 26 so taking lcm you will get 2 3 4 ka lcm 12 this is 6k this is 4k this is 3k equal to 26 we need to find that k so that you can find how many windows are largest size means 4 feet wala windows ka number pucha hai so this will be 13k divided by 12 equal to 26 26 and 13 cancels 2 k is equal to 24 k 24 tha hame kya chahiye hame ye 1 by 4 k chahiye that is the number of 4 feet windows na so 1 by 4 into 24 1 by 4 into 24 6 hai na 6 is the answer beautiful question all of you clear this was another easy question average ka idea hai to ye question fast kar sakta hai try this fast Okay, I'll explain. Three consecutive integers. Consecutive means difference should be one now. Either trial and error se kar sakta hai. Tino ka sum 15 hai. 5, 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 15, but 5, 5, 5 are not consecutive. But 5 middle number hai to. Uska pehle wala number 4, baad wala number 6 hai to. Ye tino ka sum 15 ho na. Because the sum, like, average deviation idea use kar raha hum. 5, 5, 5, 15 dega. So, 5 se 1 kam or 1 siyada. Esa do numbers 5 ke saath add kiya to 15 sum dega. And they are consecutive. But if you are not able to do that in exam hall, you can take the help of math. Let x minus 1, x, x plus 1 be the consecutive numbers. Ye tino ka sum 15 hai. Is se x ka value find kar sakta hai. 3x equal to uh, 15, x equal to 5. But I will not recommend doing this way. You should be able to trial and error like I told you in the beginning. X5 is 4 or 5 or 6. Hoga. Anyway, you got 4, 5, 6 are the th 3 numbers. 4, 5, 6 are the required numbers. Then the value of A minus 2 the whole square. That is 4 minus 2 the whole square. Plus 5 minus 2 the whole square. Plus 6 minus 2 the whole square. 2 square 4. 3 square 9. 4 square 16. Straightforward, eh, na? 13 plus 16, 29 is the answer. Option C, 29. All of you clear? Easy question. Ha, ye question ka bohot similar type kal mathematical science paper mein bhi tha. Median ke jaga mean tha. That was a major difference. All the rest were almost same. But ye thoda or tricky hai, I will say. Mean thoda or easy tha. Median thoda or tricky case hai. Try it fast. Pothi bidiya question hai.
okay so i'll explain consider two data sets a and b with each observation such that both data sets are the same median median means middle value three observations only so there is only single one middle value that is easy that that is its, that itself is the median if there are multiple middle values that is if it, if it is an even number multiple middle values are possible so here odd number 3 is odd number so only one single middle value that is a median which of the following must be true must be true means always true hona chahiye sum of observation in a is equal to sum of observation in b counter examples i will prove it and give you clarity like 2 3 4 0 3 4 0 3 6 ye dono ka median 3 hai na so same median satisfy kar raha hai lekin sum of observation dono mein different hai 2 plus 3 plus 4 0 plus 3 plus 6 same nahi hai are you all understanding sorry ye same hai i'll take the 16 <laughs> instead 19 hoga iska sum iska sum 7 hoga must be true means always true hona chahiye na sum of observation same hona zaruri hi nahi hai median of squares of observation in a is equal to median of squares of observation in b squares ka okay that is little tricky initially you may think that that is true for example ye question mein wo sahi ho raha hai 2 square 4 3 square 9 4 square 16 0 square 0 3 square 9 16 square 256 median of squares here also 9 here also 9 but that is only when the median is not changing like median of the squares are actually square of the median that we already found in that case this sentence is correct but always that is not the case especially negative numbers here though if negative numbers are there yeah let me try to create an example please give me some time say minus 2 0 plus 2 iska square kiya to 4 0 4 hoga abhi middle value change ho gaya na 4 0 4 ko rearrange karke 0 4 4 banana hai median 4 hai. are you getting median 4 q hai and minus 3 0 2 minus 3 0 2 hai to uska squares 9 0 4 hai. 9 0 4 hai. usko rearrange kiya to 0 yeah, I will take this uh, 3. 3 hai square 9 hoga. 0, 9, 9 ho gaya after increasing order mein likhne ke baad aisa mila. To yaha pe 4 middle value hai. Yaha pe 4 is the middle value that is the median. Here 9 is the median. Are you all understanding? Median of the squares in A and median of squares in B is not necessarily equal always. It may be equal in many cases but this counter example is enough to prove it is not always true negative number wala case mein square kiya to wo positive number hoga that will change the ordering of the numbers that is why option b is not generally true that was a very good option actually median of the combined data set is median of a plus median of b that also is not always true for example if I take 1, 2, 3 as one set, median is 2. 4, 5, 6 as another set, median is 5. Yeah, combined set ka median kya hoga? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 ka median. 3 or 4 ka middle value 3.5 hai. Is 3.5 equal to 2 plus 5? This is saying median of A plus median of B hai. Yeah. But 2 plus 5 7 hai, 3.5 nahi hai. Two, three, 7 ka aada hai 3.5 are you all understanding please respond sorry sorry I cannot take this example I made a mistake median equal banana hai na median e equal banana hai so for example 2 4 6 ok hai 3 4 5 ok hai then the median are equal only when median are equal you can say this Abhi isko arrange kariye. Isko arrange kiya to 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6 milega. 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6 means iska median kya hai? 4 or 4 ka average. 4 hi hai. 4 or 5, 4 ka average 4 itself. It's a, it is. But question says it is sum of 4 and 4. 8 hona chahiye. In third option. That is wrong na. 
it should be equal to median of A itself. For median of A and median of B are equal, na? median of the combined data set is equal to median of A, which is equal to median of B. Yes, abhi bata sakta hai. So, option D is totally making sense, option C is not. So, A, B, C eliminated and D is the correct answer. Very good question. Median ka basic idea clear hona chahi. Yeah, ratio based hai, mixtures ka idea bhi hai. Carefully try it fast. And those of you are watching this session live, if this session is useful, do hit the like button and do share this video to maximum people and do comment whether this session was useful and whether my sessions generally are helpful for your preparation. Do let me know that also. <coughs> yes, straightforward, eh? not very difficult at all. Okay, so I'll explain. Sorry, I think the question got shifted. This one. This one, a 50 liter mixture of paint is made of green, blue and red colors in the ratio 5 is to 3 is to 2. 5 is to 3 is to 2 means 5x plus 3x plus 2x total heto. That is 10x. 10x equal to 50. So, x is equal to 5 now. x equal to 5 means, if I tabulate the data, red, green, blue, red, how much it should be? Total should be 50. That should be divided into 5 into 5, 25. 3 into 5, because we established the constant of proportionality is 5. 3 into 5, 15. 2 into 5, 10. Now the question says that you are adding something, you are adding 10 liters of red color. So, your 10 kas are 10 or that is 20. And the other two are remaining the same itself. What will be the new ratio? That will be 25 is to 5 is to 15 is to 20 now. 25 by 15 by 20. Cancel the common term 5. That is 5, 3, 4. So, 5 is to 3 is to 4. Option D is the answer. Super easy question. All clear? Then try this question, data interpretation question. Calculator is there, then this question is super easy. Without calculator, you should be good at mental math to do this. Because the numbers are little bigger. Try it fast. Okay, so I'll explain. Populations and GDP in billion US dollar. Mathematical science may be similar a question tha. Both similar tha ye question se. 
countries ABC in the years 2000, 2010, and 2020 are shown in the two figures below. The decreasing order in per capita GDP. Per capita GDP means GDP per person. मतलब GDP divided by population. GDP ये graph में दिया है, ये graph में population दिया है. GDP by population. So 2020 के बारे में पूछा है. मतलब only what we need is this set of bars and this set of bars. बाकी सब bars irrelevant data है. Don't waste your time on analyzing that or calculating any of those. So, decreasing order of per capita GDP. So, let us find the per capita GDP of all the three countries. A country ka per capita GDP kya hoga? GDP 324 divided by population 16. 324 by 16 hoga. When you divide it, you will get almost 20 point something. Because mental math, if you are good, you don't have to use even calculator. 320 by 60 kya hai? 20 hai na? 324 by 60, 20.25 होगा, because 4 by 16 is, उतना perfection नहीं चाहिए, 20 काफी है, because look at the other option, 2623 divided by 130 है, 2623 divided by 130, if your mental math skills are good, more than, more faster than your, than your paper calculator, you can do it, I'll show you how. This is 2600 something na. This is 138. 130 tha to ye exactly 20 hoga. Are you agreeing? 2600 by 130. That is 260 by 13. 26 is double of 13. So 260 is uh, 20 times of 13. 130 tha to ye 130 se bhi 8 si yada hai na. 8 is not a small number with respect to 130. 23 is a small number compared to 2600, but 8 is not such a small number compared to 130. So, 138 matlab ye 20 se confirm kam hoga. Did you all understood 20 se q kam hai? Matlab ye se bhi kam hoga b that is for sure. If you exactly find I think you will get 19 point something. Utna perfection nahi chahiye, I will show you why. C ka bare mein bataya to kya hoga? GDP 264 by 24, 264 by 24, 22 sorry, 22 10 times is 220, 220, 220, 220 plus 22 plus That is 22 actually, 22. So 22 means this is clearly larger than this. C is larger than A, larger than B. C larger than A, larger than B. C larger than A, larger than B. Which option says so? Option D. Itna, itna approximation okay hai to do this question faster. Otherwise, if you are not at all okay with this approximation, use calculator and do. That I don't have to show how to do it. लाइक like, ये फ्रैक्शंस कैलकुलेटर में एंडर करके एक्सैक्टली वैल्यू फाइंड करिए डिक्रीसिंग ऑर्डर मतलब लार्जेस्ट टू स्मॉलेस्ट ऑर्डर में अरेंज करिए सी ए बी मिलेगा हाँ ये एक स्पीड डिस्टेंस टाइम प्रॉब्लम है आई थिंक विद दिस क्वेश्चन विल फिनिश अभी दो और क्वेश्चन जनरल साइंस का था ये जनरल साइंस नहीं है स्पीड डिस्टेंस टाइम ही है डोबल है बट थोड़ा टाइम कंज्यूमिंग सोल्यूशन है दैट वी विल डिस्कस ऑन अदर क्लास ऑल अदर एटीन एटीन क्वेश्चन वी हैव डिस्कस्ड दिस वन वी विल डिस्कस नाउ केयरफुली ट्राई दिस Okay, listen very carefully. At a spot S on route, the speed of the bus on route means on the way. On the way, the speed of the bus was reduced by 20 percentage. So, there was a rod, there's a point S. I'll call that S point. The speed of the bus was reduced by 80 percentage of the speed. Yeah, don't get confused with this capital S and small s which we denote for speed. Let the original speed be small letter s. 20% kam hua matlab 80% f s ho gaya na. 
हंड्रेड परसेंट एफ एस से ट्वेंटी परसेंट कम हुआ सो एटी परसेंट एफ एस सो ये एसपोइन से या एसपोर्ट से एटी परसेंट एफ स्पीड में चल रहा है देन देर इज अ डिले ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स नॉर्मल टाइम टू रीच द फिनिशिंग पॉइंट और लास्ट पॉइंट आई विल कॉल द लास्ट पॉइंट पी उस उसके लिए नॉर्मली टी टाइम लगेगा तो वो टी से भी फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स कम आज एवरीथिंग इज इन किलोमीटर एंड आंसर इज इन किलोमीटर पर आवर आई विल कन्वर्ट फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स इन टू आवर फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स इज फोर्टी फाइव बाई सिक्सटी थ्री बाई फोर आवर्स ना या फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स इज थ्री फोर्थ ऑफ एन आवर दैट इफ इट इफ इट इज क्लियर यू कैन से दैट दिस इज द डिस्टेंस डिस्टेंस इज एक्चुअली इज इक्वल टू स्पीड इन टू टाइम ना The distance travelled after point after the spot S is 80 by 100 S into t minus 3 3 t minus 3 by 4. All of you clear? Now another situation is given. Another situation क्या दे रहा है? Instead, if the speed were reduced 60 kilometer after S, मतलब for the first 60 kilometer S speed में small letter S speed में travel किया, so 60 S होगा distance travelled in 60 kilometer. Sorry, at at uh, normal speed. बाकी बाकी डिस्टेंस 80 बाय 100 स्पीड में ट्रैवल कर रहा है देन व्हाट हैपेंस वन सेकेंड या देन टू कंप्लीट द टोटल डिस्टेंस ये टोटल डिस्टेंस है ये भी टोटल डिस्टेंस है टोटल डिस्टेंस के लिए ये डिस्टेंस प्लस टी माइनस थर्टी मिनट्स में कवर कर सकता है थर्टी मिनट्स मींस हाफ आवर So t minus the, t minus half will be the time taken, remaining time taken. All of you are understanding. One second, there there is a problem. Okay, let us try to simplify things somewhere. I made a mistake. Okay, we'll simplify anyway. Let's go simplify. Kya to? S will cancel. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. I understood the mistake. The mistake is this is already given kilometer, not minutes or uh, time. So 60 kilometers. So this is 60. 60 plus only we can say. 60 kilometer. He is traveling. Traveling at normal speed, so the distance traveled is 60 kilometer itself. Baki distance, baki distance 80 by 100 s speed may travel kar raha hai. Then the time delay is only 30 minutes. So original time se bhi t minus half times less hoga. Or you have to equate time. Okay, that will be better. I will explain this is in a in a different way. इनिशियल सिचुएशन में t माइनस फोर्टी फाइव होगा टाइम टाइम इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाई स्पीड इफ द डिस्टेंस इज डी डी बाई स्पीड क्या होगा स्पीड विल बी एस माइनस थ्री बाई फोर टाइम इक्वेट करिए इंस्टेड ऑफ इक्वेटिंग डिस्टेंस दैट विल बी बेटर फर्स्ट सिचुएशन ऐसा है सेकेंड सिचुएशन ऐसा है t माइनस थर्टी होगा कब t माइनस थर्टी होगा वेन फर्स्ट 60 किलोमीटर इज ट्रेवल्ड एट नॉर्मल स्पीड प्लस नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट डिस्टेंस डी माइनस सिक्सटी किलोमीटर एट अ स्पीड ऑफ सॉरी दिस इज टी माइनस थ्री बाई फोर सॉरी दिस इज द स्पीड यू नीड टू डिवाइड बाय ना वन मिस्टेक आई मेड टाइम इज इक्वल टू डिस्टेंस बाय स्पीड सो व्हाट इज द स्पीड Speed is 80 by 100 itself, 80 by 100 s. But here for the first, yeah, this time distance by speed 60 by 60 by s by plus d by d minus 60 by 80 by 100 s. Remaining distance at 80 by 100 s. ये दो equation simplify किया तो you will get the original speed s. हमें s का value चाहिए. 
there may be some easier way also for this uh, but let us do this way itself so now actually ye first equation or second equation simplify karke s ka value chahiye na s ka value chahiye to t value hame nahi chahiye so if you subtract second equation minus first equation you can cancel out t value second equation minus first equation subtract kiya to t minus 30 minus t minus t plus 45 hoga so that will be 15 minutes 15 minutes is one fourth of an hour i will convert it into hour ye 45 hour 30 minutes mein hai wo convert karke 3 by 4 aur 1 by 2 mila ke finally 1 by 4 milega after subtracting second equation minus first equation then the right hand side kya hoga d by 80 by 100 s i will write point eight s for convenience d by point eight s minus 60 by s plus d minus 60 divided by point eight s isko simplify kiya to s ka value milna chahiye yeah the distance is a problem na One by s you can take outside, so s by four I will take here. Somewhere I am making a mistake here. Some illogical step I think I am doing here. This should be subtracted. Sorry. That will cancel. Okay. Uh, for the time sake, skip this question. There is some mistake I am making in that solution. That will clarify in one of the upcoming free classes. I hope all other previous questions are clear. Eighteen questions we have discussed. All of them are clear. I guess. Uh, this question paper, as I told, fifteen questions only you need to do at the time of exam. There were enough questions for you to try at the time of exam to get good marks in less time in aptitude section. So that's it. And once again, the full length course is starting from day after tomorrow. And other courses in my profile, I will tag the link of the other free courses I am offering. Uh, and in the description of this video, you can get more uh, free courses and free updates. And be part of my Telegram channel, Telegram group, and WhatsApp group. We are planning for a free, sorry, paid full course also for general aptitude alone. We'll update you in few days. Stay tuned. Subscribe the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any update. So that's it. Let's conclude for today. Thank you all of you. Take care, all of you. See you all in the next class. Uh, chemical science paper analysis also will be there tomorrow. Will be most probably the paper analysis of chemical science. So thank you. Take care. Bye bye. Have a good day.